Hi. Good day to everybody. Okay, in the last session, we have seen that uh, what is cell address, what is the address bar, how to format the text, and what are the different alignment options, font style, font size, uh, how to give a background color and full color for a cell, how to put a border along the side of the cells. So, the, the basic is covered already. Now, now uh, we'll discuss that why Excel is being used. Uh, although some of uh, you guys will be thinking that why it was not discussed in the first session. Okay, the reason is very simple. That once you get an overview of the layout of a picture, then it's easy to explain that what is inside that one. Now, as you can see in the last session that we have put some test format, some few numbers are there. Now, Excel is, you know, we'll discuss it why Excel is used. Uh, maybe already you, uh, some of you are, uh, or definitely many of you are aware about Microsoft Word. So, why we are not using Word? Because Word is also offering uh, the same formatting styles and digits, put the, write the text and digits and different things and then give up a uh, required format. The difference in between the Word and Excel is that, that in Excel it's, it's a worksheet. Like usually in old days when we used to have uh, registers where accountants or even for your own expenses you were making a column and a row and then you were putting a title let's say utility bills and uh, uh, let's say school fee college fee uh, transportation expenses all these so these columns were referring to okay that ultimately the title is there and then everybody comes to know that okay these are the expenses uh, for uh, the transportation or whatever so now at, uh, after the column then some summation formulas were there or the grand to subtotal or grand total is there uh, but at, at that time of course that was a manual work so manually by using calculator or manually uh, addition of uh, the figures were resulting in a summation so the same thing is being shifted now to microsoft excel which provides a flexibility that you can change the data in normal paper definitely you can't change the data either you need to use uh, a correction pen or something like this and then you need to change the data but again once you have done the grand total you can't change it again you need to put a correction mark there and then uh, put the proper subtotal now excel provides the flexibility that you can change the data at any time accordingly the grand subtotal or grand total will be changed so excel is basically used for calculations text is there to put labels or uh, put uh, any identification to the data so let's start with the same example as i said okay we'll open a new worksheet click file new okay blank workbook these uh, other options will be covering later on so for the time being we'll start with the blank work okay so uh, let's say we want to record expenses daily expenses so apologies for that daily expenses give it a title okay and then we'll put here Uh, let's make it monthly expenses utility bills transportation any other expense nowadays everybody is using credit card so let's put uh, credit card payment Okay, so adjust it uh, according to the width of the text. So let's drag it to make equivalent. Now, okay. Now we want to this have this title 
is as a center aligned now presently it's in a1 so select these columns okay you can click this option merge and center or right click go to format cells select merge cells now the cell is merged if you click on this way this is a shortcut for merge and then center as well so click again and center alignment you can see center alignment is already selected it's uh, the bottom aligned so you can see click on middle align okay increase font size okay now for these ones column headers bold keep it at 12 this one we have kept at 20 okay now to add more columns it's very simple click on this column right click insert so the column is added now definitely you'll be thinking why this column is added so we'll put here serial number all date so on daily basis you will be recording expenses and then <clears throat> ultimately at the end we'll get okay just increase the width of the column let's start on the first 2016 utility bills <clears throat> on the first for example we have paid 500 dollar or whatever whatever is whichever currency uh, we are using but uh, ultimately will be uh, i'll be showing later on that how to put the currency symbol there transportation for example on first of january 2016 200 600 dollars okay now if on daily basis if you want to record this is monthly expenses so monthly expenses mean at the end we'll be getting subtotal and grand total now on daily basis because we want to record uh, the expenses so what you can do bring your cursor here once the plus sign is here press left button of the mouse press control so you can see there will be there is a plus sign on top of small plus sign is here then drag it down okay it didn't work okay press sign okay now this is not working because okay i'll tell you the reason let's remove this right click go to format cells Date. Let's see this is the date format. Drag it down. 